Thank you. So this first one is, once again, a song I wrote called Freedom and Wings. It's about what Jesus has done for me and what he can do for anybody. Walk this world on my own Thought I knew it all Took a stumble, took a fall Finally hit that wall, that's how I came to him Broken on my knees, crying, I give in Lord, fix me, please oh, Can you see what he has done for me? Do you know that he loves me so? He did take my sorrow, made my heart to sing He did take my burdens gave me wings, freedom and wings. Shame by what I'd done, always on the run, hurt and anger, fear and doubt, had me all undone, I needed strength. Guidance from above, he broke the chains, gave me his love. Can you see what he has done for me? Do you know that he loves me so? He did take my sorrow, made my heart to sing. He did take my burdens, gave me Men wings. If you're feeling like no one can fix this now, there's a savior with a white horse to help you out. Oh, he can fix this now. Oh, can you see what he has done for you? you know that he loves you so can you see what he has done for us do you know that he loves us so he will take our sorrow make our hearts to sing he will take our burdens give us wings oh freedom and wings Men wings. Amen. Amen. I was thinking about uh, Psalm 30, 12 right there. It's you turned my mourning into dancing, you peeled off my sackcloth, and you clothed me with joy that my heart may sing your praises and not be silent. Beautiful. Amen. Thank you for that, sister. <laughs> You're welcome. So it's the next one, a little fun new song tonight. Um, I actually wrote this about two weeks ago, and my all-time favorite verse is Psalms chapter 3, verses 12 through 14, and it says, Not that I have already obtained or am already made perfect, but I press on, if so be, that I may lay hold on that for which also I was laid hold on by Christ Jesus. Brethren, I count not myself yet to have laid hold, but one thing I do, forgetting the things which are behind and stretching forward to the things which are before. I press on toward the goal unto the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. So I actually wrote a song about pressing on and moving forward in my goal to be more like Jesus. This is called Not There Yet. Tries not to look him in the eye Down on his luck, she doesn't wonder why But Jesus says, I picked you up So she drops a 20 in his cup She's not there yet, but she's looking up ahead Forgetting what's behind 
pressing on instead till she kneels before him at his throne. Yes, Jesus has made her his own. We're not there yet, but we're getting there. Little girl, ask daddy, will you play? There's no time and bills he must pay. And Jesus says, I paid to make you free. So he asks, will you pour me the tea? He's not there yet, but he's looking up ahead, forgetting what's behind and pressing on instead till he kneels before him at his throne. Yes, Jesus has made him his own. Don't let your light grow dim Use your time to be more like Him We're not there yet But we're looking up ahead Forgetting what's behind And pressing on instead Till we kneel before Him at His throne Yes, Jesus has made us His own Yes, Jesus has made us his own. Yes, Jesus has made us his own. Amen. Jesus has made us his own. Now, I'm, I'm putting you on the spot here, but not really. Because I'm, I'm looking through <laughs> okay. your bio at heathersmithmusic.com. And what we have in common, one of the things is that it says you didn't grow up in church. I didn't grow up in church. I did not. <laughs> How the heck did we find ourselves doing this stuff? How did you find yourself in a position where you're representing God himself through music and bringing more people to the feet of Christ? How did you find yourself in this position? Well, this has been a long time coming. I can tell you three major points in my life of surrender. The first time when I was 16, um, I did English writing, three-day eventing, hunter-jumper, dressage. My husband forgives me for that. He's a roper. <laughs> um, but I had an instructor give me the gospel story right in the middle of a writing lesson. And I didn't believe her right then. About a, a week later, I asked Jesus to be my Savior. And I, I surrendered to the belief of him, to believing that there was a God and that it was true and real and he was everywhere and he had an, a loving son that he gave as a sacrifice. Mm -hmm. Years later, um, my marriage was actually failing. I was still not in church. Um, like There was the farthest thing from a Christian conversation growing up in my house. It was usually negative about Christianity if there was a conversation about Christians in my house growing up. Um, so when I accepted Jesus, I became the off sheep of the family. Yeah. <laughs> no one wanted to talk to me because I was a Bible thumper, even though I had no idea what the Bible even said at the time. But my marriage later on was failing and we both recognized that we were doing life wrong and we needed, we needed something, someone to help us to get it right. And I knew that God was the answer. I knew that God was the only one that could fix it. So I actually surrendered my life to him. And whatever that might mean, whatever you might need of me, Lord, this body, these hands, whatever you would like. Um, and then even years further down, once I became studying and learning and beginning to take hold of knowledge of who Jesus was and what surrendering to him, I actually surrendered my heart over to him and said, I want the things, I don't just want to work for you, Lord. I I want to be your servant. I want to want the things you want and love the things you want. Mm. And at that point, that third surrender was when he called me and he actually, um, my calling in life was Psalms 33 verse three, sing unto him a new song. And, um, which was quite interesting because at the time I didn't sing, I didn't song, right? I played a little bit of piano at night. I didn't play the guitar or anything. And this was only four years ago. And he said, don't worry, I've got you covered. I'll give you all the tools you need to do what I'm asking you to do. And he has, um, I, love it. I, love I it. within a month or two, I had wrote, um, a great song we released to radio. It did amazing. I, it, it opened up an entire book year. Um, back when, before COVID, <laughs> um, of bookings. And he's just, I know him as God, the provider, and he's 
taught, I'm still having to learn to trust for sure, but he has taught me more trust than I ever thought I could do. <laughs> oh, fantastic. I love that testimony. Thank you so much. So you have another two songs I think for us, yeah? Yes, it's perfect timing because this next song is actually my testimony song. When I pray to God about, hey, I want to be like these other great writers and singers that, that say their testimony to music. And God literally reminded me of the night that I asked Jesus to be my savior. And this is the conversation between his spirit and mine that night. It's called A Brand New Start. God, I stare up at the stars But I don't know who you are And I've done some things that have made me not the same So I cannot imagine if you'd want to know my name don't know where you are but I feel you with my heart and now I know Lord I don't want to be apart so can you give me a brand new start and this is what he told me Child, you don't know me, but I know who you are. And I knew you before I made the stars. You can feel me, cause I press against your heart. And I can give you a brand new start. I told him back. Lord, you know what I've done and how long I have run. How can you forgive when I've done you so wrong? Would you really give me a new song? And he answered me Child, you don't know me But I know who you are And I knew you Before I made the stars You can feel me Cause I press against your heart And I can give you a brand new start still the day still tells us child you don't know me but I know who you are and I knew you before I made the stars you can feel me cuz I press against your heart I can give you a brand new start. Yes, he has given you a brand new start. Awesome. The word in the Bible is metanoia. We say repent. We say make big deal about that. Really, ultimately, in Greek, Jesus is saying, just change your mind. It's not about you. It's about me. It's about the work that I did on the cross and believe in that. And as you did, as you testified, he continues to refine you as he refines me. But it's as simple as just believing in the gospel with, in, with all your heart and, uh, and look at the results. So if you're watching this right now, you don't know Jesus. There's a reason why you're here. And if you're watching right now and you do know Jesus, but maybe you're not feeling worthy. That's exactly why we need Jesus, because on our own, we're not. And if you're feeling like you're not, you need to be reminded like that song. Yeah. He knows you and he wants you to be a part of the kingdom with him. So feel mm -hmm. comfortable in that, that he's chosen you to believe.
Thank you for that, sister. We got another one? You're welcome. I do. I have one more. This one we just released to radio. Um, it's called Holy. Uh, I was in a really low spot in my walk, and God kind of picked me up and said, I want you to write a song about who I am to you. And I was like, wow, like you're everything. How am I supposed to narrow that down would be a better question. So I simply call this song Holy, and it is who God is to me. You're the maker, life's intake. Of all nations, Lord of creation, you're the potter, you're the father, savior, redeemer. Oh, sing all believers. I worship you who has made this heart right. I praise you for winning sin's fight. Look what the light of the world has done for me. My hope, my joy makes me sing holy, holy. Worthy is the Lamb who was slain, holy. Hope of the world and God's spoken word, Counselor, Prince of Peace, His love will not cease. Our Good Shepherd, the good news that's heard, Deliverer, Cornerstone, who owns a heavenly home. I worship you who has made this heart right. I praise you for winning sin's fight. Look what the light of the world's done for me. My hope, my joy makes me sing holy, holy. Worthy is the Lamb who was slain, holy. Jesus the Christ, Son of God by name, worthy is the Lamb that was slain. I worship you who has made this heart right. I praise you for winning sin's fight. Look what the light of the world's done for me. My hope, my joy makes me sing. Holy, holy, worthy is the Lamb that was slain. Holy, 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 holy. Amen. That was Amen. Heather. Let me make sure I got because it's so hard to say. Heather Smith. <laughs> We're keeping Smith, up with the Jones. Yeah, heathersmithmusic.com. <laughs> wonderful music, wonderful message. Thank you for your testimony. Thank you for uplifting me uh, personally and for representing the kingdom so wonderfully. You're welcome. All right. My so, pleasure. Thank you all for having me. <laughs> so, 